Now, the fact that, um, you know, Mickey's brothers, Harry and, and uh, well, Mickey's brothers uh, were, um, Harry and Lewis had him, you know, working in the sill behind their, behind their drugstore, uh, perhaps doesn't speak all that well of their approach to parenting. It also doesn't speak well of the Cohen family's relations with their neighbors. It was very difficult to get a, a raid for uh, bootlegging in those days, particularly if you had a, a drugstore. Really, the only way to do it is by antagonizing your neighbors so much that they that they uh, called in a police or treasury agents. So clearly, they weren't too popular. Uh, but um, at least one of Cohen's brothers, his older brother Sam, did express some concern about the way his little brother was shaping up. Uh, Sam was a religious man, so he decided to enroll Mickey in Hebrew school. Unfortunately, while waiting to meet the rabbi, Mickey got into a beef with another kid and slapped him in the mouth. He was promptly sent home with instructions to never appear at synagogue again. So, where are, where are we, John? Where are we? Here we are, right next to the Breed Street Shawl. Um, which was completed uh, soon after the Coens moved into the neighborhood. Can I, can I interrupt you for just one minute? Absolutely. Okay, this is, this is our... Uh, why, don't you, why don't you take a seat? Take a seat. Kim, do you want to... Oh, I guess I'm going to do this. Okay, so we have on the bus, we're so honored, we have on the bus Kim's grandmother, Barbara, raise your hand. Kim's grandma, this is Barbara, she, she's back in Boyle Heights. She, her family thought about moving to Boyle Heights back in 1924 when she came out from New York. You thought it looked too much like uh, a Jewish Tijuana and you requested you move to Hollywood. But now you're back in Boyle Heights at Hollenbeck. So Barbara, I guess the question is, your Jewish mother, what would you do if your son were Mickey Cohen? I would handsome. I would sit to it that he never put a decent pair of pants on. He was a very vain young man and a very, very much in front of the public. And he would hate to be chastised by his mother. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very good. So you'd pants him. Anything, that's an incredible advice. Anything, anything else? Well, you have the use as much storm iron methods to maintain a child that was so positive in what the ways of he was going to go. He was not one of these good children that you went to school every day. Right. Right. Can can you can you can you say Gonster Mocker for us? Pardon me? Can, can you say Gonster Mocker for us? Gunster Mocker. Yeah, that, that's what Mickey Cohen was, right? A Gunster Mocker. Yeah. Okay. Barbara, thank you so much. That's really good. Yeah. 